At the time of filming this video, it is currently Paldea Evolve release weekend. However, unfortunately, since I have to wait till later on today to go ahead and meet up and pick up my very first booster box, I figured we're gonna do one more Scarlet and Violet update on my binder collection now that I've opened 100 packs. What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. Let's dive right into this in today's video. Alrighty guys, so diving right into this, as you can probably see already, if you caught the first video where I went over my binder collection after 50 packs, I'm using an entirely different binder right now. This is a Guild Free Gaming 12 pocket fix page binder right here. I'm not going to get too far into this binder specifically right now, because I do have about four more binders on the way, and I'm going to make an entire video dedicated to comparing all the most popular and most purchased trading card binders off of Amazon but like I said this is just the first one of about four more that I'm waiting on that came in so that's why everything is organized in this binder for right now the first binder that I used in that original video right here I still have it I'm using this for all of my duplicates and extras and stuff like that the promo cards are also in here because once again I'm gonna wait till I figure out what binder I want to use specifically one of these like 12 page or 12 pocket fixed page binders because these have the black backgrounds in them but we do have a couple d-ring style binders like this one coming as well but all the promos are in here as well as my duplicates we're not going to get into this binder right now in this video because it's pretty much the exact same thing as this binder just obviously the duplicates and extras and stuff like that now diving right into this binder we're going to get right into the first page and you can see that i changed up the way i'm laying out and organizing my master set right here instead of having the reverses in front of the common normal ones right here I have everything laid out separately individually next to each other like that because i think this is going to look a heck of a lot better after seeing some videos and pictures of other people doing it this way i do like this way a lot more the only thing i really have a concern with is stuff like when you get to the sprigatito where instead of having just two variants it has three as well as the ex and terra cards like that that only have one variant so it throws off the kind of layout a little bit because as you can see we have normal reverse normal reverse when we get to this page we're going to have a normal reverse and in hollow this hollow is going to be the quote-unquote promos they're not real promos they're just hollow versions of the common cards that came in the paldea collections now obviously i didn't get the paldea collections which is why i'm missing this one as well as i will be missing it for fue coco and quaxley as well this is going to be one of those cards that's going to be many cards in here that I still need to track down. This is just going to be one of the ones that I'm probably going to have to try and find locally if I can. If not, just going to bite the bullet and order it online from somebody like TCG Player. But as you can see, I'm just going to keep flipping right through this so you guys can get a quick glimpse of kind of what you can expect opening 100 packs like I did. We're going to get to the first of many double rare EX cards that I am unfortunately missing. I probably only have about half of them, which is a total bummer. I figured I'd have pretty much almost all of them at this point opening up 100 cards, but Spide Ops right there. We have Arcanine, Terra EX that I'm missing right there. And everything else is pretty much just reverses. We have almost every single regular common and uncommon card. Like I said, this is just the Fuecoco Hollow right there. Now, as you guys can also see, not only did I label everything and reorganize it, I also have everything, like I said, labeled that I'm missing. So we have 052 out of 198, the card number, what Pokemon, Quaxley, as well as what variant hollow right there and if we go next to it you can see this is the reverse one right there i just have everything super organized hyper hyper labels so that way i know exactly what i'm missing and i can just easily glimpse through this but once this binder is full and i have a true master set this is just going to look absolutely fantastic super organized and really just pretty and nice to look through but as you can see we are missing just a couple of EXs right here and right there. This is the Maridon and Bennett. Like I said, I am missing about half of those. But other than that, it's just basically all reverses right there and a couple of the special edition non hollow or hollow kind of promo cards. Just like this Annihilate non hollow, which I believe that came in like the Build and Battle or the Battle Stadiums, which obviously I didn't purchase yet. So that's going to be one of those cards that I'm going to have to try and find locally or just go ahead and purchase it online from somebody once again, like TCG player. But um, yeah, skimming right through, you can see one of the only like regular common cards that I'm missing is the Silly Cobra. But we are ha we do have the reverse hollow version right there. But pretty much everything else is just once again reverse hollow. So we're not doing too, too bad. Like I said, another page. Just keep going on the reverses. Once again, by Sharp, which is a... Uh, common or an uncommon we are missing the regular version but we do have the reverse hollow right there keeping going right here we're going to see once again just a couple of reverses as well as the non-hollow promo of Reverum right there 
and we are quickly getting to the end of the Pokemon and getting into the trainers and items and stuff like that. But fortunately, the 154 Lechonk, we're missing both the regular as well as the reverse. Supposedly reverses for all of the other Lechonks. These two right here, I have a million of, but unfortunately we didn't get any of this one and none of the reverses of Lechonk for some reason. Just funny how that all works out. And now we're on to the trainers as well as the items. And we're not doing it too bad. Once again, we are missing the regular version of energy retrieval as well as the reverse. Which is going to be one of the few commons, like I said, that I don't have. There's another one of those. I believe it is Pokemon Catcher on the next page right here. Yep, Pokemon Catcher, normal and reverse. We're missing that everything else here is just going to be the reverses as well as the professor's research non-hollow once again that came in a special edition bundle that obviously i don't have so we're gonna have to track that down or purchase it online like i keep mentioning now we are getting to everybody's favorite the secret rares honestly i don't think i'm doing too great not doing too bad either but we have toad school palmot drowsy the very first secret rare that i actually pulled which is riolu as well as this cloth right here now i'm gonna take a minute and pause on this page because this is exactly why i didn't like the idea of these fixed page binders because you can tell on this camera i don't know if it's going to pick this up but this page right here is actually crinkled and creased and kind of ruined so that's why i don't have even if i did have a secret rare i wouldn't put it in this slot i do have a ultra ball in here luckily it's not damaging this card but i do have spares of this card so if this does crinkle pocket kind of ruin that card i will be able to replace it but this is just an example of why i mentioned originally in that first video why I like this style of binders with replaceable pages that are going in a metal d-ring because when something like this happens you can just easily swap it out and keep going but once again like this it's fixed page so if i do keep the guilt free gaming binders not one of the other ones that i have coming i will have to get another one of these and return this unfortunately but i said this is just one example on why i didn't like the idea of non-replaceable pages however the 12 page as well as the black backgrounds do make everything look way, way better. On this page, we're doing much better than we did on the previous page. We got Squivet, Spy Dops, the Arcanine, and Gara Terra EX. Uh, full arts right there. We got a Magazone, Coridon, Iron Treads, Jacques, as well as the Professor's Research. So not doing too bad on this page. That's, what's that, like 50%, right? Yeah, about 50% on that page. Let me get to the final page. We have the Jock. We have the Hyper Rare Rare Candy as well as the Fighting Energy right there. So like I said, we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too great. I really wish we would have been a little bit better off after 100 packs. However, is what it is. Still fun. It's nothing that I can't track down locally. Maybe we will get a couple more packs. I don't think I'm going to get go ahead and go crazy with another boost box. Just because honestly, I don't want to have any more duplicates that I already have in this binder. This binder is absolutely filled to the max. This thing couldn't hold any more cards if I wanted to. So I think my next step is just going to be go ahead and try to purchase as many of the cards that I'm missing locally. Or like I said, a couple of those hollows and non-hollow promo cards or promo cards. We're going to have to get offline from somebody. Once again, like TCG Player, maybe even eBay or any of the other sites like that. But that is a quick glimpse at my binder. What you guys might be able to expect opening up 100 packs. But I guess right there, we're going to end this video on this note. So we're going to close this up, close up this video. Peace out, guys. Catch you on the next one.